Hi, how are y'all doing today? If you are new, my name is Dajni. This is Sleepy Witch Tarot. I have a special pick a card set out for you. So if you feel like whatever one you're being pulled towards, you can go into the description box below and pick out your timestamp. We have group one, group two, group three. If you need to pause the video and uh, meditate on which one that you're being pulled towards, you can do that. Hi, group one. I'm going to go ahead and roll your dice. We got Capricorn energy with your south node in the second house or the second card, which can be uh, the high priestess. Uh, and second house is about... And the second house can do with income at the moment, especially being Capricorn energy, which is like the the master zodiac sign of income. Um, so be aware. This could also have to do, I wouldn't su be surprised if I did pull the Hierophant or the High Priestess. All right, the first card we have is the Two of Pentacles, and it talks about having a proper balance, and um, maybe you feel overburdened with doing too many things at the same time, and um, maybe it's telling you that you need to focus on one major project at this moment and not uh, be scattered your energy around. Um, the next card that I do have is the Queen of Cups, and it is the Empathy card. The Queen of Cups is waiting for the perfect soulmate. She is open. She is ready to, to embrace the love that is truly within her, that is within somebody else as well. This is somebody who is very emotionally available. This is somebody who is very emotionally intelligent and somebody who really cares. This person doesn't just fall for anybody. Uh, this person takes their time, their dedication, the way they speak and the way that they talk to you comes across as somebody who is very mature. The next card that we have is the childlike dragon. This is like saying that whenever you're around this person, it really puts you in mind of feeling like a child again, free spirit and a lot of happy go lucky energy. Lots of fun conversations. You could talk to this person legitimately about anything, whether if it's regarding spirituality or conspiracy theories or um, uh, science. This person really is a listening person. They like to listen to what you have to say. We have wishing. Wishing, this is also about manifesting as well. The number 19 card in the tarot deck is the sun card, which is about happiness, prosperity, um, abundance. And this card can represent talking about wishing, wishing for somebody, a soulmate connection to come into your life. Wishes will be granted. So if you feel like, you don't know exactly who that person is. It's okay to breathe, take time to uh, relax and let the universe guide you to that person in divine timing. It's If it's meant for you, it will never pass you up. Remember that if it's meant to be, it will never pass me up. And we have expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. It's so beautiful. Let's get into your love cards. We got the coffee cup. And the coffee says meeting and conversating, savoring the moments, feeling uplifted in friendship. Aw, that's sweet. And then we have the sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. So I do feel like this one, when I say this, it's more of the perception. It's almost like maybe you've been extremely hurt in the past and you have your guard up. You're always waiting for somebody to, to pull the rug out from beneath you. And it, and it can happen like that, especially if you've been in toxic relationships of the past or relationships where you put somebody on a pedestal and it was really not equally give and take. So I can see that to where you feel afraid to fully unleash uh, your love with somebody at this moment. 
The next card is the butterfly. Relationships are evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. And um, I'm going to pull you a spirit animal as well. Uh, so the zodiac signs that are popping out to me right now is a Leo, Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces. And I pulled the elk for nobility. And it says, celebrate your accomplishments with humility. You are crowned with success and powerful forces guide you. Your ability to conquer challenges is limitless. So I feel like you see this big hill up here. That is obstacles that are yet to come. And because that you have been through some things, you can make it up that mountain no problem. And if you see here with the, the other little elk, the baby elk, maybe uh, this is somebody who is a confidant or a best friend, or this could even be a partner with you at this moment. Um, and I'm always sending you love and light. And if, res if this resonated for you, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. High grade two. Cancer, third house. And I really want to say it's Mercury. And Mercury is also the planet of communication. Are you waiting on somebody to communicate and answer to you? Are you waiting on messages from somebody who could be like a water sign? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I do feel like for some of y'all out there watching, you're about to receive a notification or a message or an email from somebody confessing their feelings. Definitely. Especially with the water, like the, the feel of water on this we have the king of wands and the magician the king of wands is a very passionate everything that they've done they worked and built on this isn't this is somebody who seems to progress in life progress in life um with strong influences this person could have a lot of friends or this person seems to attract a lot of people. With the magician beside it, it says skill. The magician talks about manifesting and working on things that, that are in your goals and your mindset. Um, things that you've wanted to do. Dreams come true. Whether if this is a person that you are manifesting. The king of wands is uh, somebody who is determined. Somebody who goes after the things they want. Fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The magician is also Virgo energy. Um, but I do feel like somebody here is on the brink of success with this partnership or with this person. The brink of success. The king of wands is somebody who is very, very, very caring. They don't give you time of the day unless you mean something to them. And that is very strong. The next card we have is the squash dragon, which says opinions. Maybe this person is really outside the box of an ideal person that you usually go towards. Maybe they're complete opposite. Maybe this person has a different background, religion, or something around those lines. Or maybe this person you knew used to date somebody else you knew. Um, regardless of that, people will always say something. You cannot help that. You can never help the way... Or what people say, you can only help and understand the way you feel about it. So I just really wanted to say that. We got Virgo energy again. It's time to give rather than take. And this is talking about giving to yourself most of all. Self-love, self-care, knowing your worth. Uh, maybe you're starting your self-love journey. This, for some of y'all, y'all could even be going through um, a, a, like a he healing journey of your childhood um, at this moment, we have virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourages others to grow. So you're very compassionate. You're very empathetic and you really care a lot about people. And I feel that there's going to be a very big, big blessing coming in for you. And um, this blessing is new beginnings. This is this card says risk, but this is also the full card. It says taking a leap of faith, going the distance, um, and just giving yourself a little time and space to do things in the proper time and method that which you would want to do it. Nothing that you're going to be forced to do, 
Do it in your own timing. Do it in your own will. And this is a very beautiful, beautiful energy saying, I will not hold myself back. I will not let others hold me back either. Let's get your love messages. We got talking, interested, conversating, more awaited messages arrives. I told y'all, I told y'all, text, call, email, and hoovering. Then we have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving affection, and falling in love. It's beautiful. And then we got the hand of the cards. It says taking a chance. Wow. Risk, being strategic, options, and not slowing hand gambling. And I'm telling you, I feel that. Your entire read and message is resonating with them cards. Also, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle up a spirit oracle for you, an animal. And we got the grizzly bear for power. I am indestructible. I honor my intuition and I go where it leads. Love and gentleness are my real strength. I will never give up and I will succeed. Yes, bringing in the power in the new day and going after what you want. You will not hold yourself back anymore. And this is beautiful. Now, if you're waiting on a connection with love, I see it right here. I see it very strongly. So you could be um, a partner, could be a Capricorn, a Scorpio, a Virgo, or a Cancer. Thank you. If this resonated for you, please like, share, subscribe, follow me on TikTok. Thank you. Hi, Group 3. How are you doing? I'm going to go ahead and roll your dice. Uh-oh. We got Mercury, Gemini, and the 8th house. And the 8th house can talk about uh, intimacy, uh, rebirth, transformation, taxes, uh, money, finances, and emotional connections. Mercury is also the planet of communication as well. So let's see what we are getting. We have the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Three of Pentacles says excitement, which is really good. It's, th it's about things going and blossoming and blooming before your eyes. You can see your hard work materializing and everything just coming together and within your finances. And this is also about new beginnings. Anytime I ever pull the Three of Pentacles, it's always big blessings coming in. Big, bountiful blessings are headed in. We also have the Nine of Swords and it says trauma. And maybe this these blessings are coming in in the forms of you working through and healing. The Nine of Swords is saying that I'm not tied to this situation anymore. I'm letting it go. I'm ready to rediscover who I am. And I'm ready to uh, see what the world has to offer. Just because I've been hurt or done wrongly in uh, in a past situation, um, it doesn't mean that it's going to affect um, my outlook on life. And it's really it's really neat energy, and I'm very happy that you pulled that. We have Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. And this is talking about you gaining the courage and the momentum to gain your finances and get your finances in check. So this could even be talking about you getting a new job, you changing up careers. You could even be doing something different like going going to school, studying to get a certificate. You could even be doing something online as of like YouTube or TikTok and trying to get out there and be seen. We have Harmony. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. I'm telling you, if you feel like you've been off your feet for a while, you are hitting the ground and you're running. You're going for the uh, the things that you are uh, seeking in this world. We got the turnip dragon for resilience. Nothing will stop you from your growth. Nothing is going to change from what is set in your destiny. And I just want to let you know that. And I just want to say that you are very appreciated. If you ever feel unappreciated or you're doing too much or other people don't see that all these accomplishments accomplishments that you are doing trust me it is seen it is known and you are well liked people are also talking about you behind the scenes in a very positive manner saying oh wow I can't believe that they actually are doing this I can't believe that they actually got that job or or are changing something about their life changing their routines and they're doing good for themselves and I'm very 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 proud of you that is the energy coming in. I feel like some of y'all have a, a, a mother energy who roots for you on the other side. Um, 
We also have the belonging house. And this talks about you finding a home, whether you changing locations or redecorating your home or you finally being accepted in your friends and family or you finding your soul tribe, finding people who you resonate with and connect with on a deeper level because this is a spiritual house. This is not just a random house. This is a spiritual house and it talks about you um, feeling welcomed and feeling at home. And then that is a big feeling that spirit is like really knocking on me right now. It's like I haven't felt home in a minute. I miss home. So for some of y'all, y'all could even be like uh, at, at a distance from your home, you could be on vacation or you could be traveling or you could be um, doing uh, staying with friends and family somewhere else in a different location. But home is very much coming up in your read. Let's get your love messages out the way. We got the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, and change, and heal. Dragonflies are also a really big um, signifier for passed on uh, loved ones, passed on spirits, and nature. And uh, the, it's just a big communication of saying that you are on your path. Anytime you see a dragonfly, know that in that moment, I am on my path. I am on my destiny, and spirit is guiding me. We have engagement ring. Engagement, partnerships, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. Union. So for some of y'all, y'all could be getting married or engaged or taking that next step in that commitment that you are uh, in at the moment. Um, if, and if you have not met your person yet, whoever picked group three this year, this year, I see it. I see it. And then we got kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. And that is really, really beautiful and sweet. Let me go ahead and get you an animal oracle message. And we have the fox. The fox says, clever. You are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found and always listen to your instincts. Resources surround you and be open to romance. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. And it, like I said, if you are single at the moment, you're you're going to meet that person who is meant to change your life and, and you connect with on a deeper level. This ain't going to be any random commitment or random partnership. This is going to be a soul connection that you resonate and vibe with this person from many lifetimes. I'm telling you, it's just new, new energy for you. And I'm so happy and I'm so proud of you. And um, I really wish you the best. And if this resonated for you, please like, share, subscribe. Follow me on TikTok. You can find the link in the description box below. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful day.